Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 77. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 72 to 77. Hey, this YouTuber asked about a payroll table. Here's the name. Here is single or married. Here's the number of allowances. Here's the gross, and they wanted to calculate the tax. Now, the taxes are in different tables. If you click here on this married, you can see there's allowances and income. So if we were made uh, 250 and we had two, uh, one allowance, our tax would be $1. Over here for single, if we were single and we made 500 and we had two allowances, our tax would be 350 So we need to somehow create a formula. Now this is going to be a pretty complicated formula and it can be, get pretty tricky to do uh, this tax um, in one single formula. However, if we are smart about how we name our tables and our ranges, we can use and Notice that we've in the in our uh, payroll table we have the word single and married here. If we base our names over here for these tables, because in the v, in lookups you have to have names for your tables, especially if they're on other sheets. If we base our names on married and single and use a smart naming convention, we can put a pretty clever formula here. So first we have to do a bunch of naming, and in fact, if you don't know how to use the uh, in uh, index and match functions together. You might look at the uh, YouTube lookup series of videos 8 to 13. They teach you all the basics of this somewhat complicated lookup scenario. But now, we need to uh, do some naming and we want to name everything smart. Now, for our index function, when we want married table, we're going to need all the numbers here. These are the taxes. You can see I just made these up real quick. These are the taxes. So we're going to name this table married. Enter. Notice uh, married is red and, and uh, single is green there. Now, uh, we want to, we have to use this range right here in our match function. So let's call this married I for income, married income. So married and then capital I. It actually doesn't matter. They, the name doesn't distinguish, uh, differentiate between a capital and a non-capital. Then we're going to click here and call this married A for married uh, uh, allowances. Enter. Now let's go do the same convention for single. We're going to click inside the table and name it single. Hopefully I'm spelling these right. If you don't spell them right, then you have to go and edit them. Oh, and we'll name this single to I for single income. Enter. Don't forget when you're naming to hit enter. And then these, since we're going to need all these in our match function, we're going to name this single. I hope I'm spelling these right. I am a notoriously bad speller. Single A for single allowances. All right, now we have all of our names. Let's go over and use them in our on our sheet 77 here. Now we're going to need to use index to look up two dimensions. Remember, 200, 2, we want an intersecting value. So let's type index. Index. It needs to know the array, which is the table, the row number, and the column number. So the rows for us will be our income, and the columns will be allowances. So the array we want is either the single or the married table. So if we click right here, we would think that that um, array, given that we've named that table single, would work, but it won't. If you double click that um, cell reference and hit F9, you can prove to yourself anytime you see that text in quotes, you know that Excel thinks it's a word, not a reference. Control Z, all we have to do to convert a text string to a reference is use the indirect function. Indirect. And if you don't believe it, you can always highlight that range right there. Just part of the formula and hit F9, you can see it's got all those zeros uh, column, 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 row, and then a bunch of columns. Control Z. So that worked. That's going to be our lookup table. Notice as we copy this down, it'll move to married, so it'll be just fine. Comma, and now we need a row number. Now we're going to need to use match, M-A-T-C-H. 
the lookup value for match, this is our row, is going to be our gross earnings. And then comma, what is the lookup array? That means the, t the, the table. So for the single, it was our column of 0, 100, 200, 300. Now, we could just click right here, but that won't work at all because the name we gave it was single i. Not only that, but we have to use the indirect function. So let's just use the indirect function. And watch this. We're going to click right there and ampersand. Remember, we used smart names. Everything in the single table started with single. So we can get that single and then ampersand and in quotes, I. And that'll work. That'll take a text string, single I, and convert it to a range. If you don't believe it, you can highlight that whole range and hit F9. And sure enough, that worked. Control Z. Now, this is inside the match. That's the lookup value, which is the 400. That's the uh, lookup array. Click on the at the end and comma. And we need to decide whether to go, since we have um, ranges of value and we want to pick in between, we need to say less than. That means when it hits, uh, finds 302, it'll jump back to the 300. If you click on less than, there's actually even a little description here. It says finds the largest value that is less than or equal to the, the lookup value. So the largest value that is less than or equal to 302 would be 300. So we want our 1 there. Whoops. Our 1. You can double click that. You can type it in too. Now, that's going to bring up our screen tip again of the index. So we have the array and the row number. By the way, you can uh, we're looking at 400, so I think that was row 5. If you highlight this whole match thing here and hit F9, and sure enough, that evaluates to 5, Control-Z. Now, we finally need to do the same match thing for this allowance. So I'm going to type comma, match, open parentheses. The lookup is going to be this allowance comma, and then indirect, that same situation where we're going to take single. But this time, we're going to ampersand not I, but A. And then in quotes, A, end quote. Sure enough, that'll be a clever way, remember, because we named everything smartly. Close parentheses. That is waiting for us for match type. Now, look at this. This is a different situation. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, so what we want is exact. So we're going to put a zero there and close parentheses. Finally, we're waiting for the close parentheses on the index, and that will work. That's a very clever way to set up this table. And you could uh, uh, you could even have data validation and create a list of, and you could have more than uh, just these tables. Sometimes you have a weekly and monthly and all sorts of different payroll tables. But this type of solution will work in all cases. I'm going to double click and send this down, and we can check a few of these and see if it got it right. This person is single and one, so we need to go to the single table, look up one allowance and 436 and it better be 250. So we go, there's one and uh, 256, so there it is, 250, $2.50. Uh, $2 this person right here married with two and 253, so we've got to find two and 253 in the married. 253 would bump into a bigger value, so it's here. And 2, and sure enough, that is 0. So that amazing formula right there is how you would set up a payroll table with lots of lookup tables. All right, we'll see you next trick.